journaling is one of my favorite things to do it is actually um, a tool that I've accumulated over the years to write my feelings down even though journaling is not too much about your feelings but about other things which I will go into into this video but before I go into this video I love to show you the views around me so I can um, <laughs> relax and be be at one <laughs> with nature right so that's the lovely views oh look at that it is breathtaking and so yes so as I said I wanted to go into what journaling is what it means for me and what it can potentially mean for you my name is Crystal and this is my YouTube channel and before you go any further I'd love for you to like to comment and to subscribe and also share my video okay so what journaling is journaling is not only about writing in a journal but you can be as creative as you want to be you don't have to be a good writer journaling can be used to log events thoughts feelings and short stories and you can be as creative as you want so when when you was in school or when for me when I was in school um, we used to do journaling in school and that was to help us to write our feelings or in other words a scrapbook I used to have a scrapbook back in high school where you cut pictures out of a newspaper out of magazine and you put them in a scrapbook or sometimes you can even do a mood board or a vision board it's the same concept and principles um, that a verge the a journaling can be so um, I'd like to give you some ideas and prompts to go about starting your journaling um, you can start writing in your journal like what is your biggest accomplishment what is your biggest achievement and um, you can start writing in your journal about practicing self-care and um, you can write about your childhood memory and um, what makes you happy and how your day has been you can write about holidays that you've been on the experiences the people you meet the food you eat where you stay what the, what the weather was like what did you wear what did you like about it would you go again and just um take photos and put it in your journal as memories so like years down the line you can actually when you have a down day you can go back and look at it and and motivate yourself again so why would you journal journaling is about managing anxiety everyone has anxiety and everyone go through a bit of a dip in emotions it's, it comes on before you do something big you like you get anxiety before an exam before you go when if you're starting out driving anxiety is everyday life or well, if you do journal about your feelings your thoughts emotions what's the, what's the event leading up to your anxiety then it will help you to manage that it can help reduce stress it can help you cope with depression so for depression is when you're in a dark place and so if you want to journal about that dark place instead of because sometimes you don't want to talk to someone about how you're feeling so a journal can help and you know sometimes like teenagers they have their journals with the lock and key, the lock and key on it and as parents you do want to go in and look in the journal to see what they're at if they have any self-harming issues and you know things around that um, it can also improve your mood and you can also journal because you want to create memories and good memories at that you can create journal around your children you can have a journal where you put um, activities that you do with your children or milestones for your children when they first learn to walk, the first words they say, on the day that they were born, what um, the day that they were born, you can have a newspaper, you can cut out an event in the newspaper and put it in a journal so that when they're like 16 or when they're getting married, you can give it to them to say, this is some aspect of your life that I captured for you and here you go, you can have it now. So you can, you can always capture your, um, your children's journey 
because I'm a mom, so I'll be tend to talking about how you can create like a good childhood or a lifestyle um, or the beginning of your motherhood with your children and what that looks like. You can also save um, their tiny, tiny clothes or their tiny socks when they were newborn and that you can like paste it or stick it in a, in a book, in a journal, in a scrapbook because they one thing with children, they won't... Um, they won't stay small for ages, so <laughs> I'm kind of deviating going into motherhood, so sorry. So back to journaling, yes, so those are the reasons why you can journal. And also it's remembering old friends and remembering places and, and etc. and things that you've done. It can help process your feelings and emotions. It can help you prioritize your problems, fears and concerns. So when me and my husband, were, we were looking for somewhere new to live. We were looking to, to get a house. And so I had to write down the pros and the cons, the do's and the don'ts, the, the deal breakers, what I would really love to have in our home, in our house, and etc. And it's good to write it. It's good to write it down so you can see it in front of you and then go forward with that. And it also can help with, positive self-talk and it can help uh, identify negative thoughts and triggers so you know we all have things that we're not too proud of and we do have things that we're proud of so we can make a note of both and it can help you to manage your mental health better and if you want to learn more about journaling there is a YouTube video and it's called the benefits of journaling so you can go and check that out and also if you have started journaling then well done keep it going if you haven't and you would love to um, then you can go to the pound poundland or the dollar store or get a cheap book like this one here let me bring it up and show you like this one here, just an ordinary book with just page, just get exercise book with pages, and you can go and get that from a Christian bookshop, a book, any bookstore. Get one, get your pen, and get some scissors, get some glue, and start being creative. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, journaling is literally about, you know, putting down your emotions, putting down your thoughts, your feelings, and it's something to do, as I said, as I explained earlier, so to help with your mental health, and also it's, a, it's, it's got huge benefits on your mental well-being, on your mental health, and if you're going through a hard time at the moment, and you want to, and you're going through a hard journey, you can also journal, because actually I've written a book, and it's called Butterfly Woman, and I started that book out by journaling. So I'll journal all my trials when I was homeless, when I wasn't married yet in my single life, and I processed the feelings that I had. There was some hard emotion and truth that I had to delve into and work with. And even though I was working with like professionals to help me, and I was going to church and I was doing my Bible reading and my mentoring and my um apprenticeship in in um in my church and I was learning new things along the way but I still needed to have this place for me where I can actually jot down my gut honest feelings and years later it, it it is a book and it's on Amazon and people read it and enjoy it and they gave it five stars so journaling is just a little aspect of of a big 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 thing to come because you won't be able to actually remember everything that you've done in your life from youth to adulthood so you want to make memories don't you I mean we've all got new technology these days we've got our camera phones we can take cameras we can even go on Pinterest and we can make our own journal on there and that's still acceptable that is still something to work with that is still um you know an achievement that is still something that you're working towards that is still um a creative aspect of doing it so i, I recommend it 100 percent. like you should start journaling it will help loads and not only that but if you've had, 
you know you've got some some thoughts on your heart or in your mind that you want to understand and it will also help for you to have intelligence and um, emotional intelligence and that means your emotions some people when they have this big emotions that they don't know how to to cope with they tend to lash out on others or they tend to start be angry and start acting violently but if you start by analyzing the reason why you're triggered the reason why you're angry and showing all these negative emotions write them down be as honest as you can i've i've put in my in my journal when i used to date around and i was looking for the one and i just couldn't find the person for me and i used to write down all the things what i was going through at those time like in my journal about the the men or the man in particular that i was dating and i used to write the feelings and the thoughts that i used to have about marriage and kids and children and home life what they like about them what they like you know and sometimes i'll even write down things that they say to me you know so it's it's starting off somewhere small to going somewhere big and and sometimes even the mood the mood board or the vision board how powerful it is because i <clears throat> i had a vision board in my bedroom where I cut out things out of a magazine. I cut out Prince Harry, um, actually it was Prince William and his wife and children. And I wrote that and I put that, cut it out <laughs> and put it on a board as a vision board to say that I want to marry someone, you know, that I think is a prince, <laughs> a prince charming royalty. But we're all royalty in Christ. We're all children of God. So there we go. There's win, 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 win situation. <laughs> Anyone you marry in the Lord, you're marrying a royalty, you're marrying a prince. If you're marrying a woman, you're, mar you're marrying a queen. It's, you know, that's how we are in the kingdom of God. We're royalties, baby. We are royalties. We wear that crown, but it's, it's invincible. You know, it's that inner confidence that you get knowing that you're a child of God, knowing that you were born uh, for such a time as this and born as a winner. You know, you wear that invincible crown on your head to... To make sure that you've, you've got your identity um, intact and an identity it's important to know who you are and journaling can also help with that and it doesn't matter as well if your sexual orientation coming in because there can be some confusions around your identity and one way of tackling those confusion is by journaling so you get your pen and you start journaling it doesn't matter what sexuality you are. It doesn't matter where, which part in the world you're from. Some people are some um, are, were born in in the part of the world where there's loads of extreme economical issues around that where they live, and a lot of confusion that comes with it to find out who you are, what's your identity, and how far you can go on the hierarchy of Maslow um, Maslow's hierarchy of um, self achievement. Or meeting your needs or just basic needs or psychological needs and things around that so even if you're like gender confused and things like that start journaling it out and the best thing about journaling is no one will judge you no one will see what you're going through in your book to judge you because the main thing why people some people actually don't open up or talk about what they're actually going through inside is because they're fearful of <clears throat> excuse me of being judged by people which is not a nice feeling it's not nice when you pluck your courage up you're brave and you really want to share something with somebody it could be a family member and it could be somebody that you're close with and they start asking eh you did what you're thinking what you feel like that? What? Are you mad? When you do your journaling, no one can judge you like that. Do you know what I mean? So as it says, I did journal and I've wrote some things in my journal that people would be like, oh, is, is that so? But the funny thing about it is you do not have to live under, peop um, under people's thumb. You can be your own person. You can be your own character. You can be brave. Write out your issues in your journal and and go from there 
go from there and grow from there see where it takes you um in a non-judgmental way in a safe way in a safe space where you can you know write down you can dream you can dream the life that you want to with your journal you can dream the life that you want to you can write I want to be a teacher, I want to be an um, astronaut, I want to be a doctor, you know, I want to be a social media guru, whatever it is, you can start writing it down in journal, there's no shame in your game, you can do that and win at life, so the main aim of this video is being to win at life, attack it, attack it somehow, all those confusions, all those battle of feelings and emotions, we start writing and it's gonna it's gonna be hard to start with um and you're gonna have writer's block sometimes and if you just don't want to do it manually you can go on pinterest or you can start to create them um, there's apps online i think i can't recommend any apps at the moment but i'm sure there are some journaling apps where you can use um and and do that on your phone and just start to win at life and 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 start to you know start your journey of self-care of health and well-being and get your mind in the game get focused get up get out and about like i'm out and about now and i'm in the perfect place where i can actually just you can actually just chill out and you know be at one with nature be at peace and <clears throat> and have a good time and you know be be alive be in the world and be a part of something huge okay that's it and thank you for listening and i hope you will start your uh, journaling journey and encounter yourself in the process encounter your true core self in the process encounter who you are encounter who you want to be encounter those dreams those goals and start smashing them one by one by one all right, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Before you go, please don't please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share this video. Okay, I'll see you later.